Yes, I have trickered in. And here's what to do. Five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. First thing to do, pop the kettle on. Next, work out the total volume of your pond, including all pipe work and filters. And make sure this is precise. Next, get your potassium permanganate, open it up, weigh out the correct dosage as to your total volume, and then add it to a bucket and pour in the boiling water. Um, it will mix itself now, but you can always add a, an air bubble to it, an air stone to it, uh, mix it all up, and then uh, just add a bit of pond water to it and leave it to bubble for about 20 minutes. So I've just added a bit of pond water to it and keep that bubbling for about another 10 minutes or so just while I'm topping up the pond after the filter clean. It's all clean, and if you can see there, the nice white K1. I've added a bit more K1 since I'm going to PP anyway, so I might go chuck a bit in. And I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, so we're about an hour in. Uh, it's holding its colour okay, still purple. Fish seem okay, in fact, uh, they seem more okay. The greedy little buggers are looking for food, hunting food down, believe it or not. Um, I thought they'd sort of like be sulking and swimming around and gulping, but no, they're hunting for food. Typical water pigs. Yeah. The extra air is sort of putting them off a little bit for the right hand because it's right near the uh, feeding ring so they're not um, going around there but yeah they swim around the pond looking for food going up uh, towards the um, skimmer as you can see there on the uh, little one going up there having a look see if there's any food up there <laughs> Kawako's following it not a wise idea but yeah, so everything's looking good. Now, basically, uh, as I said to you uh, earlier, and that lot about, um, I'm using the Katsuri uh, PP treatment. Um, basically, you measure out the correct dose you need, um, add it to some boiling water, put an airline in there, mix it for about 20 minutes, add a bit of pond water, and then spread it all around. Now, everybody who's in the no dealers and everything will tell you that for treat and trick or any of the treatments, uh, you need to keep it purple for four hours, no longer. On the back of the uh, Kasuri packet, it says you've got to keep the water purple for 15 hours. And they say this is because um, Trichodina can become resistant to your treatment regime. But if you speak to, like I said, people in the know, people with the knowledge and that lot, they poo poo that and say, no, it's only four hours. So uh, anybody who's never done PP before and uh, you're going to do it and you know, it's the first time you've used it, then um, just do it for four hours. Don't try and keep it for 15 hours. One, it's going to be a hell of a long time to sit there and watch your fish and that lot and uh, keep your water. Um, purple for that sort of time is um, you're going to redose God knows how many times and it'll be just too much for the fish so I'll come back to you later on and three quarters nearly two hours in 
uh, water starting to turn brown now. And if you just look into the aircon there, you can see it's sort of like not a nice pinky colour anymore. It's going a bit sludgy. And you get a better idea if you step over here. And with them. So it's going to need a second dose in. So, got some bubbling away just over there. There's the second dose just bubbling away, and then I'll add that in slowly over the next half hour, 20 minutes, which this is uh, mixed up. Better wash that down, it's spitting a bit. Alright, so I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, so half the second dose has gone in, and again, it's just time to sort of like step back, have a cup of tea, keep an eye on the fish. Uh, make sure there's no adverse reactions. Um, it, this treatment is a waiting game. Um, you just got to make sure that they're happy all the time. Um, it could turn at any second. Um, but you know, just be confident with what you're doing. Um, you know, do a lot of research first. Lots of watch lots of videos about it all, and um, I'm sure you'll be fine. It's just a case of waiting, watching and just making sure your fish don't get into trouble. So like I said, it's time to sit back, put the kettle on, have a cup of tea, or if you fancy a nice cold one, have a cold one. And uh, it's just a case of watching. And then um, later on, um, I'll show you about adding hydrogen peroxide to clear it. Um, and we'll see how that goes. So now time to sit down, relax, have a nice cup of tea, uh, just keep an eye on the fish, making sure that everything's okay, and uh, just relax. There's a Chris, uh, birthday present last year from my daughter, as you can see, koi all over it, so it's a koi related. Very nice and very comfortable as well. And uh, you can see uh, I've got my nets in the pond there, all three of them are nets. Uh, it's a good idea to dip your nets when you're doing a PP treatment, just uh, kill off any nasties you've got on your net, sterilise them. You don't want to go through the effort of doing a PP just to put your net in and then start spreading it all around again. So if you can, drop your nets in. And there's my old faithful uh, dog, looking bored to tears because I'm paying more attention to the fish as per usual. Well, apologies uh, for not showing you um, adding the hydrogen peroxide uh, my bad. Uh, the battery started to go and I had to put it on charge. And unfortunately, uh, I missed it. So, time was up. Um, all the fish seem to have come through it okay. Uh, they're a little bit still. But, yeah, swimming around. Uh, it's been a bit of an ordeal for them, but as you can see, the hydrogen peroxide, you know, it's almost an instant effect when you add it. And you've got this sort of like horrible brownie, purpley brown colour in the water. When you add the hydrogen peroxide, you can actually sort of just see it just disappear in front of your eyes. Um, you don't have to do this. Um, it's personal choice. You've always got to have the hydrogen peroxide on standby just in case something does go wrong and your fish are in trouble. You've got to get in there straight away and add that. It's your only sort of like course of rescue. But once the treatment's finished and if it's gone brown, you can leave it in your pond and let it clear natural, you know, with your triple in, triple out, water changes uh, over a period of a few days. Um, or if it's up to you and you want to clear the water straight away then you can have the hydrogen peroxide or sodium sulfate I think it is, something like that. Um, I don't like doing PP, it's a very harsh treatment and perhaps it's just confidence in with myself and that lot. I'm always worried about doing things like that, that harsh. But with Frick it is the only way to really get rid of it. Um, FMG used to work for me. Um, but 
I don't know whether they've become resistant to it, but we just don't seem to, didn't seem to clear it this time. So unfortunately the PP out come out, I've always got some in stock, just in case. And it does give the water a sort of like a, I don't know, a bit of a sparkle to it, I suppose, once you've finished treatment. Once it clears up all the detritus and everything like that you've got in the water. So yeah, that's it all done. Everybody's come through. Um, the only thing to watch now is obviously the filters have been knocked back. Uh, if you've got a healthy uh, filter system, then it shouldn't take too long to recover. But if your pond's reasonably new, then it'll be like starting over again. So you're going to have to sort of like watch the feed, and maybe even stop feeding over the next few days. Uh, keep an eye on your do your water tests, change plenty of water. Uh, it's up to you whether you add any sort of like uh, bacteria, start filter gels, pom bombs, or anything like that, or whether you do it naturally. Uh, the important thing is to make sure you do keep testing your water and don't overfeed your fish after the treatment. Well, that's it guys for this week. Um, back to work Monday. Oh, it's only Saturday, isn't it? Yeah, thank holiday. I'm not used to it. Uh, I'm an essential worker, so uh, I've not been off having time to sit by my pond for these last six weeks, as much as I'd love to. Um, so, yeah, I've got an extra day. So, uh, unfortunately the weather's not going to be too bright, but such is life. Alright guys, uh, stay safe in these uh, COVID-19 situations. Enjoy your ponds and uh, I'll see you again soon. Take care, bye bye.